Solo Rank The part of the game where you meet all kinds of teammates and enemies, trash talkers, feeders, and many great players. But as a solo queue masochist myself, I thought to make it more challenging by playing only one role till I reach Mythic. We begin in Epic 2 along with the whole Mythic crowd and I picked Terrisla for the first game to start strong. Sadly, I was leaning against a Yin and he just got constantly bullied by me and my team. The best part about Terizla is his damage reduction passive, which many people seem to underestimate like my enemies here. Thankfully, I have a very good roamer and he punished those underfarmed boys. Then I decided to choose my own path and picked our lot. I always thought I'm very good at our lot and was feeling good after killing this level 2 X Borg. Eventually my auto aim didn't work anymore on this guy with fire prosthetics and had to accept defeat. We had enough protection and I decided to continue. The next game I was laning against a monkey who recently had a plastic surgery like Michael Jackson. I was pretty overconfident so was trying to kill Harley too. Later into the game there was a moment where the enemies used all their CC on me along with 27 skills which made me realize that I was the only frontliner in this team. We won for tanking all the damage. Alpha is online. Alpha is actually my second main hero back when I started playing this game and I don't use him much after the revamp. He's way better now with some solid true damage and you just have to spam skills near the enemies to melt them out of existence. What makes him even better is that he's good for slow hand players like me who eventually end up losing with him. Wait, 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 let me explain. So I had to go marksman this game because the slot 1 and 2 just insta locked their heroes and I don't want to be a burden to my team by going EXP when they need a gold laner. The game was actually pretty easy since Diggy was always helping me in the lane and my team was protecting me like a Disney princess. It could have been way more easier if Chao didn't die 10 times in the early game. The hunt begins. For the next game I chose Isoya since she can easily interrupt Silvana's second skill. The early game looked pretty good for me with some nice rotation from our Nolan. But we had a duo in the top lane who never left their lane to a point where the enemy marksman was on steroids. We are just losing every alternate game. To prevent another loss I had to pick a hero I am pretty confident with. I love when enemies think they can do whatever they want as long as they have the number advantage like this Selena. Looking at the trend of the games, the next game has a high chance of a loss, so I picked a hero to just shred out the enemies and push. Initially I was wondering why Whale had a UK title and then thought my Wi-Fi was bad until the matchmaking said, welcome to EU. Surprisingly, my team was pretty good and I could play decently with the high pin too. Okay, sometimes the servers mess up and matches in a different region. I'm sure that it won't happen again. And I guess I spoke too soon and I was sent to EU again. Few things I noticed here is that the people love to play Freya jungle. All early game fights happen forever in the gold lane and Lacely messed up a flicker. I got double stars for surviving in a different server and I think I'm finally out of losing every alternate game. The enemy's first two picks were heroes with a lot of dashes, so it was time to bring out the purple lantern man. I don't know why people don't play Fovius at all, he's one of the best heroes to go against the dash heroes. But please, give him a skin already. There's literally one skin which has been in every upcoming skins video for years now. I think a good adjustment could be which hero he targets while using his ultimate. Like here, I used Flameshot on Ruby but ended up targeting Paquito. I saw some news like he's getting revamped and honestly, there's a high chance that they'll make him completely good looking and kill this hero completely. 
I hope they work on this properly and let me know what you guys think that will make Fovius better. The enemies were finding it pretty hard to kill me in this game and eventually we won. Then I picked Arlot again but with a few changes this time. I just remembered that he got an adjustment where his heal now increases with the higher physical attack and all the pro builds suggested a damage build. Early game I was helping the enemies by dying and ulting nobody every time. Then I saw all the enemies in the mid lane and used my ultimate, spanned my second skill and ended up getting a triple kill. I had high damage so killing squishy heroes was pretty fun until the enemy started chasing me. These two looked so thirsty to kill me and thankfully my team was there to save my ass. Two more continuous wins and I'll be in legend. The next hell. I picked Isoya again hoping to win this time. Teresla thought he was establishing dominance standing like that near my turret but just attracted Vexana's attention and ended killing him. Also I didn't mean to steal the kill here so I had to humbly apologize. All my teammates loved my lane for some reason and Teresla kept fighting for no reason just to feed my team. We were easily winning the game and for a moment the enemy decided to go all out on us which actually just helped us clean them all up. I ignored Teresla here since he was doing negative damage to me and just focused on getting their mage. I love how he was casually walking next to me as if I made some peace agreement with him and after chopping his head it was another win getting us closer to mythic. My teammate seemed unbothered what hero I pick so I chose Yu Zong and I was leaning against an Aldos who was very thirsty to get his tracks. The whole early game I just bullied him whenever he tried to get any of the minions. I don't know why but many people just underestimate Yu Zong's passive damage in the early game. It hurts even more if you're low because it's based out of your lost HP. Stubbornness. And actually nothing else happened in this game so I kept pushing my lane and my team was winning. And that was a pretty easy final game to reach legend. I reached it in 14 games with a win rate of 71%. It's not too great since this will get much lower as we go through legend. Make sure to check out our memberships for custom badges and emojis. And I'll see you guys in the next video if I survive in legend rank. Bye.